video. I actually did not plan to do a video today, but I woke up feeling like I really, really wanted to cook a kind of cozy fall meal. It's been a while since I've been able to actually like cook something or cook something new. A lot of that is just because we moved and just there's so much craziness that comes with moving. It's just been a little bit crazy and chaotic, but today I really felt like I wanted to make a nice cozy meal for my husband. My battery is flashing, so I better talk quickly. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go to Target um, to do some grocery shopping and also probably to look at some fall decor. Anyway, I'm gonna head to Target and I'm gonna bring you with me as much as I can. And yeah, it's gonna be so fun. I love going to Target and I love that I just live practically down the street from Target now. So I figured I'd do a quick grocery haul before I put all this stuff away and eat my lunch. So first things, I got some cans of tomato sauce. This is for the dinner I'm making tonight, which I'm actually just gonna put up on the screen right here, the name of what I'm making. And I'll also link the recipe down below. Um, but I don't wanna say it out loud because I don't want my husband to hear because it's kind of a surprise. So I'm really excited for this recipe. I got some fire roasted tomatoes also for the recipe tonight and I got, I really enjoy the Amy's soup, pretty much anything Amy's brand I really really like and they have some really good soups so this is nice just for a quick easy lunch. I have here some eggs and again with the Amy's I really like their frozen meals. I eat them quite a bit actually so this is a new one to me. I hadn't seen it before I moved here, but it is so, so good. I've actually only seen it at Target, so this is probably one of my favorites right now. And then I also really, really like this one, another favorite of mine. And then over here I have some chicken breasts and some ground beef. And the ground beef is also for dinner tonight. Have some onions, some butternut squash. This is for another recipe that I'm planning on making. I was actually able to find some pureed pumpkin, which I have been on the lookout for quite a while now, and it's always been sold out every store I've gone to, but they actually had a few cans of it, so I just got two. Here I got some ground cumin, um, I got some smoked paprika, some ancho chili powder, I got this Cholula chili garlic hot sauce because we love this stuff. We go through it so quick. And then I got some of this. <laughs> if you know how to say this, I really admire you because I have no idea how to pronounce this. Worcestershire, I don't really know, but that is for tonight. And then I got some of these organic veggie flavored corn tortilla chips. And then I got some bell peppers, one of each color. Got some cherry tomatoes. Here's my Jiffy vegetarian mix. I have some butter, a couple things of cheese, sour cream, half and half, and then in here I have, it's kind of hard to see, but this is a ginger, I have some cilantro, and some jalapenos. So that is my entire haul. I'm probably going to sit down and eat probably this one, maybe that one, I'm not sure, but I need to sit down and eat, but first I'm going to put all these away, and yeah. out of the kitchen. So 
so that I can start cooking my meal. I need to get started because I think that this meal is gonna take a little bit longer. There are a few different components to it and I haven't even really read through the entire recipe except for the ingredients. So, gonna get started on it. I am making a vegetarian version for myself using lentils and I'm not really sure how that's gonna turn out. I mean, it's all yummy things thrown together, so I think you can't go wrong. So I am going to be using food handler's gloves to chop up these jalapenos because I have learned the hard way that peppers, even if they're not even spicy, even if it's poblano peppers, the oils stay in your hands and they burn. It takes a really long time for those oils to break down once you touch them. So gloves for me. I did it. I got both of them in the oven. That took a really long time. I knew it was gonna take a while, but that was kind of tricky. I think it would have been way less tricky if I was only making one, but since I made two and the lentils took a while to cook, I was just kind of bouncing back and forth between the two of them. But they're in the oven now, and I'm just gonna sit and rest for a minute before I start on cleanup and those will be in the oven for like half an hour or until they look done so I'm really excited I tasted the lentils and they taste so good I'm just gonna relax for a minute kind of work up some energy to do the cleanup because there is a huge mess behind me okay they're all done this is the lentil one. This one got a little bit messy. It kind of bubbled up and stained the cornbread, but that's okay. Still looks good. And this is the meat one, and it looks really beautiful, if I do say so myself. So we're going to dig into this, and I think we're going to sit down and watch a show. Yeah? Yes. You excited? Post into the gram. <laughs> I just saw the reflection of my foot moving in the window and it scared me so bad. <laughs> anyway, fast forward a few hours, a couple hours, um, we enjoyed our dinner and we sat and we watched um, a little bit of Spiderwick Chronicles, which is a really, really fun fall movie to watch if you're in the mood for something like that. I also posted our empty house tour um, to our vlog channel so if you want to see that I will link it down below and I am just getting ready to put our dinner away and um, get ready for bed and go to bed I'm feeling really really tired I felt like I could go to bed since like 8 o'clock thank you so much for watching this video I don't know if I got too much footage today Honestly, the cooking took a lot of time. It was so fun and I'm so happy that I did it. My husband loved the meal and I loved, loved it too. I would definitely make it again. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would so appreciate that. And if you like to hit the subscribe button, I will be back here really soon with more videos.